Hey guys, this is Codex again here. Today, you are in for a treat. Don't know why, but you just wait. It's, it's going to be pretty treatful. Um, I realized last time that I was playing this as I was talking. Oh, I can upgrade the game. Oh, oh, that I get severely distracted while talking and I can hardly focus on playing and that's why you probably notice me quite often pausing ooh lions oh bother ah look at this guy must be Apollo himself um, I get severely distracted while talking I can hardly focus on playing and then I pause a bunch and but I hope it's not super boring to watch. I'll try and get, uh, maybe once I get more used to it, I can, uh, multitask better. Oh, more lions. Let's see what these guys got. Gee. Got Apollo number two going on now. Oh, and more warriors. Okay. The, uh, it's going down. It's good. Uh, yes, we do on December. Um, so today I finished. Uh, I mentioned in my podcast yesterday. Not podcast. Who I think I am? Commentary. In my commentary yesterday, I mentioned. Go on, go, buddies. There we go. I mentioned that I had finished The Art of Power by John Meacham. And I want to talk a little bit about that. Um, gave it a rating of three stars out of five on Goodreads. For those of you interested, oh man, Paulo can pull this off. I'll be just uh, curses. Barbarian panther? What the world? Do the barbarians like train their panthers? I want to train panthers. Can I do that at, with animal husbandry? Train cows. And the cows kill them. Alright, that's a good picture. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna train some cows. I'm gonna kill those barbarian panthers. They ain't got nothing on me. So, the book. Uh, I'd be interested if anyone has read it. As I said, it's kind of popular recently. But, but um, I didn't really like John Meacham's writing style. It really distracted me. He wrote it like he was writing one long high school essay, and uh, but I mean, it seemed every every paragraph he had an introduction and a conclusion sentence, which is good, sure, but in a book, I don't need that every single sentence summarizing the paragraph all the time. And it's often these sentences that just were filled with big words and they sounded good, but really they served no purpose. Oh, I found people. Oh boy. And so those really kind of distracted me a lot. <laughs> and really, I just kind of left me laughing at times. I was like, a little bit ridiculous. Um, and then also another thing, which I think, I think biographers, they tend to do this a lot, where but hello, Caesar. Uh, war? Should we start war already? Uh, I'll let you off, Julius. Just this time. Um, biographies tend to do this often where every little just petty action, like every, every small action they do, they think has this huge impact, and it's like, this is this is why his character is like this because he puts his shoes on before he puts his coat on in the mornings and therefore he loves to be in control at all times you know what I'm saying? yeah well so you know I, I think biographers tend to do that often and John Meacham certainly was no exception but um besides like the writing style, which I didn't enjoy a ton. Uh, the content, 
I was quite interesting. And Thomas Jefferson is a man who maybe I uh, don't think he's the awesomest person all around, but his social life and his academic knowledge is something that I think is just awesome. Oh, goodness. That woolly mammoth here. Some of the two spares. Or just bears. Because Thomas Jefferson knew about any little thing. Like, he knew about bees. He knew about, like, in depth, he knew about bees. He knew, um, you know, everything about little things like that. All the sciences, he knew about medicines. And he could talk in conversations. Yes. You guys better watch out, barbarians. My cows are coming. My cows are coming to kill ya. And he could keep conversations lively and interesting to no matter who he was talking about and I think that's super interesting and I wish I could be like that and I oh George Washington and I'm speaking of your founding father friend right now so there will be peace because I because uh, I uh, enjoy Thomas Jefferson so for his sake and so I kinda want to be like that I want to learn about all these things so that I can be interesting conversation people can enjoy talking to me it will just be boring. Um, like so many times in the book, he he quoted letters of people who who had mentioned how they had just had an awesome dinner at Jefferson's, and how he had interested them so much in the conversation. He wouldn't just talk about what interested himself, but he talked about what interested them, and he was knowledgeable in that. And so, that's kind of what I, I think that's pretty neat. Wish I could become that interesting. I'm reading another book, uh, I'm reading The Black Count, which is on Alexander, I just started that today, which is on Alexander Dumas, his dad. Man, that guy was crazy. Like, I've just read like 20 pages so far, and already this man sounds like he, he is an ultimate awesome dude. And I cannot wait to finish. Oh my goodness, we got wolves. Come on, Apollo 2. Whack him. Mm. Bam. Get that barbarian wolf. Um, but so, I'm going to keep reading the Black Count and I'll let you guys know what that's all about. Um, would I recommend The Art of Power? Um, I mean, I would. If you can find a different biography on Thomas Jefferson, like an acclaimed biography. I'd read that one probably. Um, it wouldn't be a mistake reading The Art of Power, but you probably could find a better one. Um, anyways, so once again I've had a hard time focusing on what I'm actually doing. This has probably led me into problems. I'm not focusing on strategy a whole ton right now. Um, and yet, come up with a solution to that, otherwise you guys are going to watch me die in a boat. Probably two videos from now, I'll probably be conquered by George Washington and the Americans. The Montamusu, he does not surrender. Unless, unless I get totally obliterated. Joke does not happen. Yeah, it's, it's a lot to focus on uh, commentating uh, Hinduism. I am in a religion country right now. It's very hard to focus, you guys should try it. it uh, it's multiplicities. See, if I had two brains, one could play the game, and one. Maybe I'll try and do that. Hey, I'll, I'll find myself a second brain to play play with next time. If you guys have any uh, sources, you know, any any people who are in the brain making business, uh, contact me, and, uh, and that should make these commentaries run smoother. I would appreciate that. That, is, that would be helpful. Um, so this guy moves right. Okay, come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, Apollo 2 got it, buddy. This is Apollo 2, right? Oh, Apollo 2. Um, hey, guys. That is it for this one. I uh, hope you guys have a good time till my next video. And this is Esquire Codex checking out.